Hey guys, Airgun Angie with Gateway to Airguns. This is the, yep, Daisy Red Rider BB gun. It all starts with Daisy. I know I've already gripped this one. This one's an old one, but it's a good one because it all starts with Daisy. <laughs> I've got something new for it though from Buckrail. So this is a pick rail from Buckrail, a pick rail from Buckrail for the Daisy Red Rider which is gonna allow me to mount an optic on here. So it looks like it's pretty simple to install. So guys, come on in here and we'll do this together. So right here, that's your, that's your optic adjustment. That helps you to raise and lower your sights. So that just comes out like that. And then check it out. There's a groove right here. Oh, there's a rubber band. I probably should take the rubber band off. There's a groove right here or a I don't know what you call it. There's a groove right there, a big one. I guess we gotta remove the screw. We do need one, one tool. All right, so I've got my Phillips head screwdriver and we're gonna take this screw out. It's a long screw. I don't want that guy to go anywhere. Okay, so take that guy out. And there are some washers that come with it that will probably be good to use in just a minute. All right, so now I get that lined up. And let me see, actually see how far this is going to stick out without washers. All right, so now our Daisy Red Rider has a scope rail on it. I don't know about y'all, but I think that looks pretty cool and I'm excited to see how it shoots. So what are we waiting for? Let's go to the range. I'm going to get it sighted on paper first and then we'll go duck hunting. It's a little windy out here today. So it's going to need to go down and left a lot. All right, we're good to go. Sweet. All right, let's see how accurate this baby is with a scope. It was already pretty accurate without it, but I believe a scope definitely should improve. Nice. Don't forget the rocket end. Sweet. I think it sounded like that BB went inside that ball. I'm gonna have to do this from farther away. I felt like it barely hit it, right? Let's try this again, since it didn't go far. And that went right by it, I watched it. I watched it. There we go, that was better. All right, I'm gonna move them farther away and see how accurate it is a little further. We know how accurate it is at 10 yards um, offhand, but I'm gonna go ahead and bring the bag out and shoot it on the bag. I think that's gonna give a better depiction of how accurate it is at a farther distance with an optic on it. All right guys, well, that is the Daisy Red Rider with the Buck Rail Optics rail on it. It gives you more options with your Red Rider, so get out there and have a good time, have some fun plinking, and maybe even shoot at farther distances. So that's it, I'm Ergon Angie. Thank you guys so much for watching. Y'all don't just have a good day, have an awesome one. See ya. All right, so I left something out and it's super, super important. Buck Rail has made an attachment where I won't even need this rest anymore. So let's go ahead and put that on. That's how awesome the buck rail accessories make the Daisy Red Rider. And it looks like it's going to be super, super simple to... Words just escape my brain.